In this video, I'm going to take a few minutes to walk you through the Grayson College course template. This template is going to be available in all courses starting in the fall semester of 2016. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to get you a little bit familiar with it. Then one of the main reasons that we're doing this is to try to increase standard course navigation in all of our courses and we believe that will make things a little bit easier for students as they navigate through their different courses. So in the template we have a sample home page. As we go through this template and as you look through it uh, in the future anything is written in red is something for you to edit. So for example here on this home page you would go to this area and you would change uh, the name of the course course this is just a sample picture here you can put a picture of yourself or you could put a picture of something related to your course uh, we have an anatomy and physiology course that has a skeleton on the home page just for example and then you're going to fill in your information here down here in red this is just basically your course description which probably is just going to be a copy and paste from your syllabus Anytime you see uh, SRS and numbers in the brackets, that's just referring to different quality matters standards. We've actually incorporated several of those standards for course design into the template. Once you update that information, you can remove the brackets and the information inside them. It's just a way to kind of help you uh, be able to meet some of those quality, quality matter standards with very little effort on your part. We've already put a lot of that in there for you. So we're going to click on the Start Here button and we have a Start Here module. Now one of the things I want to mention is anything in this template you can edit it, you can unpublish things, you can move things around, uh, hopefully you won't delete too much because we have a lot of great resources that will be helpful to the students and a lot of them are just things you're going to edit. Now once you've done this once in your courses you can actually copy it over to your other courses and then you could delete the template material once you've updated it and put it into your other courses. So you're basically creating your own template from the template material. I'm just going to walk you through a few things here. These are really just samples for you. Under the Start Here module, we divided it up into to a few sections about this class, about us and you, about Canvas, and then course and college policies and resources. So we'll just go through a few things here. When we click here, this is just a sample video. Um, it's a good idea to make some type of welcome video or welcome message for your students. So you'll be able to view this video and then of course you're going to edit it and take my video out and put yours in there. You'll edit the information here in red once again. Down here is a screencast video very similar to the one that I'm doing right now. And this is a great way to walk your students through the course and help them to get familiar with it. And we're seeing more and more faculty members already doing this in their courses. I've seen some very good videos in the last few weeks. We'll go on. If you want to use this, this is just a good tool. I use this in my Learning Frameworks course. Uh, for the entire course, I list all of the assessments which week or which module they're located in, the dates that they're due, and the course objectives that those assessments are linked to. Or you could put your student learning outcomes that are linked to those assessments. Another great idea is to actually put a picture of the required textbook. I do this often it helps students to be 100% sure that is the book that they need and they'll make sure they get the right book. Even though you're going to provide the title and the ISBN, ISBN number in the syllabus, 
actually seen a copy of the book cut down, cuts down on errors when students buy their books. If you have other required material, you can fill those areas in there. And then there's a link to the Grayson College Bookstore for students' convenience. Required technologies, if you have any other technologies other than the standard ones, um, you can fill that in here. Maybe you're using some third-party software, publisher software, websites, things like that. So I'm just going to go back to the modules page and just briefly describe some of the other areas here. So about us and you, we give you a, a sample of um, an introduction and actually give you some different options that you could use for introductions just to give you some ideas. Uh, about Canvas, all of this is geared towards helping the students understand how to navigate Canvas, how to view their grades, how to submit assignments. Uh, basically, the Canvas how-to takes them to a Canvas orientation. And then course policies and college policies, you'll be able to edit these things for the policies that are specific to your course. But then we also have links to a lot of the course policies and we have our resources our college resources and when we open this page it's really it's a great list of all the resources on campus from the tutoring center to the library to personal counseling um, financial aid and scholarships and things like that what you'll also find under the modules page is a couple of sample modules and it even tells you uh, that you're not going to publish these this is just to give you the faculty member uh, an example of uh, an actual module set up and kind of show you some of the items that you could include and just gives you a little bit of an idea of how you can arrange your modules on a weekly basis or arrange them by chapters and these are text headers. When you want to add text headers, uh, you go here and you choose a text header. And so then you get an item that you can kind of use as a header for the information that's going to be under there. So a couple of modules there. The other thing here in the middle, uh, you're really not going to need to do anything for this. We now have uh, an online tutoring service. That students can log into and so we've put the module that explains all of the steps for logging into that service and then there's actually a tutorial for students to watch so once again this is the Grayson College course template um, you'll probably spend a little bit of time editing this in one of your courses and then you can copy that content into the other courses once again, you can unpublish things, and if there's things that you're just not going to use uh, that are not going to be useful for your students, you do have the option of deleting those. Thank you very much.